Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and today I'm joined by Alyssa and David of the Ramirez team. Since I moved here to Austin, Texas last June of 2019, I've been getting so many DMs asking where is the best place to live in Austin and I feel like I'm not experienced enough to answer that question so I brought in the experts and hopefully by the end of this video you guys will get a better idea of what area is perfect for you. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Definitely. Yeah, you're fantastic. Yeah. So I'm Alyssa Ramirez. I'm David Ramirez. And we uh, together have the Ramirez team at Realty Austin. We're local real estate experts. We're both from Austin, Texas. Went to Austin high schools and ended up going to Texas State University, which is in San Marcos, just south of Austin, Texas. And shortly after uh, we both graduated, we both got into real estate and we've been uh, building our real estate team for the past six years and super excited for the opportunity to help people relocate and move within Austin, Texas. Yeah, we love sharing our city with everybody. Without further ado, I'm going to let David and Melissa kind of take over this video since they know all the knowledge of Austin. So let's get into it. So when I think of Austin, what I think about is um, everybody enjoying the outdoors, all the parks and recreation we have around here. The lakes are beautiful. Um, in the fall, we have Texas football, hook them. And um, all the awesome restaurants and bars we have, there's definitely not a lack of things to do in Austin. So um, I can definitely see why people are attracted to living here. So when it comes to deciding if Austin, Texas is for you, Alyssa and I think that one of the first things you should look into and understand are the different areas that Austin does have to offer. Let's talk about some of those areas. Let's start with the center of Austin, downtown. In downtown Austin, in the city center, mostly are condos and apartments. As far as price, above the average price point in Austin, Texas, Super convenient to a variety of trails, restaurants, and different amenities. Some places downtown include the Sea Home District, which is my personal favorite. They have a Trader Joe's there, and it's just a really cool um, kind of atmosphere. There's a lot of active people there. There's also the Town Lake Trail right by it. There's also nightlife like 6th Street and Rainy Street. And lastly, you have the University of Texas football stadium and other major employers like Facebook and Google so you can see how convenient it is to live near downtown. Just south of downtown would be what we call the O4. You have Barton Springs, Zilker Park, lots of other parks, and then you also have the awesome restaurants and bars that are just off of South Lamar and South First Street, and um, really cute, charming little bungalow type houses in this area, and definitely still on the pricier side, but obviously you get a little bit more space than you would in downtown. If you still wanted to live close to downtown but not quite be in the hustle and bustle, you might also consider East Austin. In the middle of East Austin, just next to downtown, you can find charming bungalow style homes and also in general the area has continued to improve and grow in a variety of different ways. There's also cute brunch spots around this area such as Hillside Pharmacy has the best fried egg sandwich. Mueller is an area of East Austin. What you can typically find here are condos and townhomes that sometimes would share a wall and would remind you a little bit of pricing of downtown but you have more space in this area. Mueller also has a few different amenities like ponds and walking trails and across the street they even have a driving range. Some of my favorites are the Alamo Draft House right in the neighborhood and if you're not from Texas you might not know this yet but an HEB in the neighborhood is a huge plus. And they have a farmer's market that happens every week in the Lake Mueller area which is super cute. Another area in East Austin is the Mentopolis and Riverside area. A major employer who just developed a very beautiful and humongous campus is Oracle. And as you guys know, Ryan works there. You're also not far from the International Airport. And there's no lack of taco trucks in this area. Super important to people in Austin, tacos. And areas in South and Southwest Austin, where I personally grew up, there are very community-friendly neighborhoods that offer great schools, trails, and awesome, very established communities. You can find older, very characteristic homes in this area. This overall vicinity has continued to grow in a variety of different ways. There's also a lot of breweries and wineries in the St. Elmo area that a lot of people like to enjoy. If you're not needing to be so close into town, you might also consider the surrounding areas of Austin like Buda and Kyle, which offer newer homes with lots of community amenities like 
pools, lazy rivers, and more. If you've been considering moving to Austin, you're probably really familiar with a popular area called Domain. The Domain offers apartment living that are typically a little bit more affordable than downtown Austin, yet still similar. You can be super active still with enjoying all of the restaurants, the bars, and a lot of shopping. I've noticed that they have so many stores that I would see in Los Angeles, and for some reason I keep comparing Austin more to Los Angeles than to Georgia. Yeah, definitely. If you wanted to be near the domain but wanted to buy a home, you might also consider these Northwest Austin neighborhoods. Like the Millwood area, which is actually just near and across the street from the new mega Apple campus. You have areas that are like Barrington Oaks and Anderson Mill. If you wanted to go just outside of those areas and you didn't need to be so close to the domain or to downtown, you might also consider the newer areas where you can find newer homes like Round Rock, Cedar Park, Pflugerville, and Georgetown. If you were looking to live the more lavish lifestyle, you might look into places like Westlake, Lake Travis, and Terrytown. In Westlake, you can get real hill country and you can get high price points very quickly. Terrytown is also an expensive area, which is located in 78703, just west of downtown. Terrytown is close to Mozart's, which has an amazing Christmas show, and you get your little Love hot it. cocoa. It's awesome. And then Westlake is where me and Ryan just drive around to look at these dream homes that hopefully one day we can afford. <laughs> yes, these areas are super close to both major lakes in Austin, too. Lake Austin is a very popular lake that's closer into downtown, and then further out is Lake Travis. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys have a better understanding of where to live in Austin, Texas. Our information will be located below and we are more than happy to help anyone who has more questions about Austin or who might be looking for a more tailored custom area tour of Austin that fits their needs. We consider ourselves Austin advisors and we're here to be a overall resource however we can. Thanks for coming on my channel y'all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! That's my uh, that's my forte food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're like Sonali's making me hungry. <laughs>